Hello, my name is Ryan Kunjbahari and I'm an information professional specializing in health informatics and database administration. I'm currently serving as a project manager at Lutheran Social Services Computer Refurbishing and Technical Assistance Center. My technical tool set was built from an early age. From troubleshooting to consulting, I'm the guy for the job. Today I'm going to be showing you a YouTube tutorial on how to turn your original Microsoft Xbox into a multimedia center. The target audience for this project is generally any original Xbox owner who has their console lying around the house collecting dust. This tutorial requires that your original Microsoft Xbox is already soft or hard modded and that you have a home network in place to act as your media source. First, you're going to do a Google search for Xbox XBMC SVN. You're going to click on the first link, then you're going to click on Xbox, then we're going to use the Xbox SVN Tech Modified link, then click on Image to Download, and just wait for your download to finish. Now that your download has completed, we're going to extract the files to a folder. Once the files are done extracting, we're going to go inside this folder. We're going to be copying this XBMC folder. So to do that, we're going to have to FTP into our Xbox. Uh, you can launch your favorite FTP client. I'm using Cyberduck. And we're going to open a new connection. We're going to select FTP. The server IP address will be the IP address of your Xbox, which you can find in your Xbox dashboard. Once you've found your IP address of the Xbox, we're going to enter in the rest of the parameters. The username will be lowercase xbox, and the same goes for the password. Both of those are the default Xbox user credentials for FTP access. We're going to click on connect, and now we should be inside the root of the Xbox. Now we need to copy the XBMC folder to the Xbox, so we're going to browse in the Xbox folder structure to E, Apps folder, and we're going to take the Xbox XBMC folder we just downloaded and drag it in to this folder. The entire directory should now be copying to the Xbox. This is quite a lengthy process as this is around 130 megabytes worth of data. So you'll allow that to finish and then we'll continue. Now that we've FTP'd over the XBMC files from the computer, we're going to perform a hard reset on the Xbox via the main power button. You should now be in your familiar soft mod dashboard. And since we transfer those files over to the apps folder, we're going to scroll down to applications, then down to the new XBMC entry. And we should now be in our new XBMC dashboard. Now that we're in our XBMC dashboard, we can add a video source. So let's scroll up to Video, and then we'll click on Add Source, and then we're going to Browse, and we're going to scroll down to Add Network Location, and we're going to make sure the protocol is Windows Network SMB. We're going to go to Server Name, and then click on IP Address, and enter in the IP address of the computer with which you wish to connect to where your shared media is. Then you're going to click on C for complete and then go over to done. Now we're entering the username and password for the account on that computer that we set up to access the shared media.
and click OK. And now we can see that our shared location is shown up there. And we should be able to see basic folders. You can now select the IP address of your computer, which is shown in the videos area. And you can see a list of folders that are there. Some of these are old folder shares, so just disregard them. This one is a working folder that I have. And now you can see an episode of The Office streaming via your Xbox from your computer. Thanks for viewing my tutorial. You can download step-by-step -step instructions in either Word or PDF formats via my interactive resume. The link can be found in the description.